there are people today who once were in God's prophetic program they once were in God's prophetic program once upon a time they were at the cutting edge of God's program but they lacked the ability to see what God is doing now and while they were relevant in one season when seasons changed they did not have the gift of sight and they continued doing what God was doing not knowing that God has switched hallelujah and the dangerous thing is that when you are a leader if you do not have the gift of sight people will follow you with unbending loyalty even into confusion even into perdition there are parents today who have confused the destinies of their children because they lacked the gift of sight they did not know like Manoah what kind of destiny these children would have and they began to insist on a pathway that was not consistent with God's blueprint and the children in obedience followed them only to discover they've wasted 30 years 40 years of their lives and their destiny hallelujah i have had the honor and the privilege of seeing people who are sincere they love god with all their heart but either as a result of poor mentorship or misunderstanding of the ways of god have found themselves veering off paths in ministry parts in business and parts in destiny it becomes more troubling when you have people following you in that confusion Jesus was rebuking the scribes and the Pharisees and he called them blind people who were leading the blind imagine with me that a blind man is leading another blind man they hold on to you believing you know where you are going but because you lack the gift of sight hallelujah there are many individuals who are not able to translate the things that they have seen in the spirit to find expression because number one they do not even understand how to see in the spirit nor how to interpret the things that are seen do you know that almost everyone here by the time i'm done showing you what i'm showing you you will know that the spirit of god has been opening the blueprint of your destiny once and again for some of you because you did not have the gift of sight you're not even aware that it is god showing you and i have taught you that there is timing to destiny most people copy what others are doing they do not have the gift of sight to know what god is doing so when they find out that something is working everybody just says this is how ministry is being done let's do it that way this is how business is being done and then after 10 years the person leading you will say i'm sorry i really did not see well and you find out that you may have wasted your time accessing the gift of sight let me show you a very interesting story. Luke chapter 18, my goodness. Luke 18 from verse 35. I've read this scripture for decades of my life, but as I was preparing this sermon, the Lord opened my eyes to something I had never seen. And it came to pass, this is the story of blind Bartimaeus. Please follow carefully. That as he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat at the way begging one of the consequences of blindness you remain limited a certain blind man with feet to walk hands to reach a mind to think but because of blindness he sat at the wayside the same way that people follow to actualize their destiny he was not in the way he sat by the side begging number two the bible says and hearing the multitude pass by he asked what it meant hmm. next verse please quickly and they told him that jesus of nazareth passed by 38 and he cried watch this and said thou son of david have mercy on me 39 and they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace but he cried so much the more thou son of david have mercy on me next verse and jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him follow carefully now and when he was come near he asked him what was the question saying 
what will thou that I do for you? The man never said, open my eyes. He said that I may receive. Hmm. There is no mention in that story of open my eyes. It was about receiving that I may receive my sight. He didn't say open my eyes because his eyes could be open. I, I doubt if his eyes was closed. Are we together? Just because your eyes are open does not mean you have received the gift of sight. His eyes were not closed, but the man was blind. So blindness is beyond your eyes being closed. Give us a scripture. Let's finish up. <laughs> and he said, Lord, 41, let's go back please. That I may receive. It's a gift that you give all men who are interested that I may receive my sight 42 and Jesus said unto him since you understand that sight is a gift more than the opening of eyes Jesus did not say your eyes be open what did he say receive thy sight your faith has brought you this salvation called the gift of sight receive thy sight next verse 43 and immediately he did what you notice the bible never talks about opening of the eyes immediately he received his sight and following him glorified god and all the people when they saw it they gave thanks look at me that meant if you saw the blind man you would think he was seen because his eyes were open it was only him and his situation that showed that he was blind. Are we together now? If you saw him, you would not see his eyes closed this way because your eyes can be closed and yet you are still seeing. For instance, when the Bible tells us that Paul's eyes went closed as Saul, even though he was blind physically, the Bible says he was in the house. Remember that? He went to a city called Straight. And he waited there and he was still having visions even with a closed eyes. So that a man's eye is opened does not mean he has received the gift of sight. Jesus says, seeing you do not see. Hearing you do not hear. Mm. Hallelujah. Now there are four channels. When God gives a man the gift of sight, when God grants a man access to the seeing eye, it expresses itself in four principal channels. And I want you to please pay attention.